What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum. I've got a real quick recap today of the Seminole Sports Card Show that I went to this past weekend in Seminole, Florida. I've talked about this show before, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with the, the venue and all that, but it is a Saturday-only show, which works really well for me, and it's at a kind of like a recreation center or like a YMCA, so plenty of space, plenty of tables. The tables are cheap, so it, it's just a really ideal show for me because you know, I'm not a full-timer at this. I just do it as a hobby. I set up every few months. And um, I decided, though, that I really needed to set up this month because I've got some stuff of guys like Jalen Brunson and Jordan Poole and even Ja Morant where, you know, I don't think their prices are going to be much higher anytime soon, and I want to take advantage of that. So that was my plan, and it ended up working out really well. Uh, my, you know, business at my table was fairly steady throughout the day, and I moved all of my Brunson stuff, all of my Pool stuff, all of my Ja Morant stuff. Those were the guys that people were asking for. And it was interesting, you know, the negotiations that went along with those players because um, the people that were buying them in some cases were trying to tell me, hey, these cards are going to go down eventually. And, you know, my thinking was, yes, I know. That's why I'm selling them. And you probably shouldn't be buying them. But, you know, everyone has their own reasons for buying. And, and I did leave some margins on those cards so people could go out. And if they can flip them quick, they'd probably make a little bit as well. So hopefully it's a win-win for everyone involved. I am rooting for the people that buy from me. I think that's a good strategy overall. Um, strangely enough, I did not buy any cards at this show, which is abnormal for me. Usually I at least walk away with something. I didn't do a lot of digging. I did kind of go around a couple times, but there wasn't really anything that stood out to me. And instead of forcing myself to buy something, I, I tried to uh, practice a little bit of restraint. And I said, you know what, I'll save that money for something that I want a lot more. Uh, there were some people in there that were doing some buying, and they were doing it uh, in an interesting way. They were apparently streaming the entire show on the WhatNot app. And um, I talked a little bit about that on the podcast before. I, I'm not on it. I don't know a lot about it. But um, they were going around and just showing people cards. Uh, apparently, they had 120 people in their room. They were showing people cards and having them bid on them. And, uh, you know, a lot of dealers were, were able to make some money because of that. It, it was like bringing 120 people into that room that weren't physically there. So I've seen people on Blowout complain about this before, but... Um, all in all, I think it's a great strategy. It helps the dealers out. It brings money into the room, uh, and it moves their cards. And the dealers don't have to ship them. Whoever was running the whatnot stuff, they're you know they're taking the cards with them and they're doing all the shipping. So, um, all in all, you know it was a fun weekend. Uh, it worked out well for me. I got to move some stuff. I saw this whole you know this whatnot thing here, which was interesting to me. So all in all, a great experience. And hopefully, you're able to live vicariously through that. Uh, even through these last three minutes here. Remember, there are new episodes of the podcast that come out every Thursday. Thanks for watching.